Hi, my name is Chris Cato and I'm with Shakespeare Electronic Products Group. We're going to be discussing today the things to look for in antennas. There are going to be three specific aspects that you're going to look for. You're going to look for finish, element, and ferrule. We have a spiral type finish to begin with. This spiral type finish is going to be found on a lot of antennas. It does okay in the UV but will break down over a period of time. What you can, however, do is step up into a better category of, of finish, which is a smooth type finish like these two are. Much smoother finish, looks nicer, doesn't have the capability of breaking down over a shorter period of time but a longer period of time. Or if you want an even better finish, then you can go to a high gloss, highly smooth finish, which will last indefinitely in the UV area. The next thing we want to talk about are antenna elements. You have coax cable, which is your basic antenna element for most antennas. This is a good basic communicating element to be used, but it does have loss factor, power loss specifically. But if you want to step up into a better range and performance, you can start stepping up into brass and copper tubing instead. You can have small, simple brass like this and a combination of coax, or you can step up into larger diameter brass with less coax, which gives you better range and better performance and better efficiency or you can step up to even the best, which gives you all brass and copper tubing, so no loss factor, all of the power output, and then you can silver plate it to make it last even longer if you wish to. The next thing that we're going to talk about is actually going to be the ferrules, or the bases, for the antennas. Now on these bases that you see, although they look similar, you do have differences in materials. You have brass that's plated with chrome on the first three, which is good. But then if you want to step up into something better that lasts longer and looks better over a longer period of time, which then you're dealing with stainless steel that's a 316 grade stainless, which is a marine grade stainless. For more information, you can visit our website at www.shakespeare-marine.com.